What's he doing? He twisted his tail. He did? Yeah, but how? Good morning. Happy Monday to all of you guys. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Good morning, Destiny, Jennifer, <laughs> Bill. Good morning, Ellen, and Mike Walker. Yes, yes, we're gonna make this quick, Destiny, so we can get him to school. But, good morning, Ray, Jason, good morning to you. Shelton, good morning. Happy Monday to you, Terry. Oh, it is a beautiful morning, for sure. Oh, uh, hang on. Okay, trying to get all my stuff. Ready to go. Hey, I'm live. Huh? You're live. Why do you always do that every time I go turn the radio up? Because. Because what? Because I can't be late. You can't be late for what? Good morning, Tom. Well, I can't be late for the life feed. I apparently can't be late for school. Well, you got your, you got your people? <laughs> yeah, I got people. What's Brantley saying? I said, good morning, Tom. Brantley goes, Tom? Tom's on Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on, let me get this book. Oh. So, James is uh, working on this little car this morning. Just piddling in the shop. I'm not piddling. I'm putting Reaper back together to go kick somebody's ass. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some shit fixing to happen with that car. Oh. They fix to see more of Nick and Rick Bruder and me than everybody wants to see, I'll bet. Oh, yeah. Uh, I bet you're right about that. Oh, yeah. I'll shut the door because we've got a helper back here. Bless you. You got your peoples? You got my peoples? I'm bringing well, you your stuff. I was gonna do this, I was gonna do this ha ha funny funny and make up this big list of uh, bullshit people like everybody else is that's invited and and all of that <coughs> and, and turn this into a comedy deal. But then when I woke, when I come down to the shop and I turn my phone on, I got all these messages from people that uh, that I know that are saying, "So the show sold out, sold out. You can't buy tickets." Well. Whoever's spreading that bullshit, nasty-ass fucking rumor just shows you how much people don't want to see us see this succeed. I don't know if it was ducks or who was doing it, but the show's not sold out, guys. If that show was sold out, we would tell you. We would not lead you on to thinking that you can buy. And, and to prove the point, here's what we did this morning. Out of my pocket, my money, I went and bought five tickets right here, guys. I bought five for Saturday and five for Friday to show everybody it's not sold out, guys. We're talking about now, Maryland. Huh? Maryland. Talk about Maryland. And, and I see that as a bunch of sabotage bullshit that we deal with all the time. I don't bring it up because I don't want to feed into it. And, and, you know, it's just like somebody said the other day. Oh, he mentioned me, so now, you know, everybody's going to be talking about me. Yeah, but they're not talking about you in a good way. Mm -hmm. Just like that live feed where people got butt hurt. Funny thing is, we had... 800 something likes and about six people didn't like it. So pretty much I, I, I think I kind of said the thing everybody else wanted to say. Because my phone goes to blowing up, Jeff, everybody's saying, man, I'm glad somebody said something because everybody was getting upset about that, people thinking that they should come. But this, this bullshit that is sold out, guys, it's not sold out. Stacy just bought these five minutes ago. Now VIP for Saturday, the VIP seating for Saturday, but there, there's no telling silly. where that's going to go. Because right. the thing is, nobody's going to get turned down unless the fire marshal shuts us down. Right. Now, I'm not saying that it's not going to sell out, guys. I'm not saying that. It's a possibility. But it, it is a possibility. So you can go to the folk and, and buy your tickets. Um, Pope.com? Yeah. Same, same place where we sell our tickets for ours. I got, I got no dog in this hunt other than the fact that we want everybody to come out. We are do, we're coming to Maryland which has not happened as far as I know. We haven't been, I haven't been there. Mm -hmm. And we're coming to put on a hell of a show, do a lot of racing. Um, I'm gonna piss a lot of people off, but that's just kind of what everybody tells me I do. Um, I'm taking the orange car, it's loaded up. We're fixing to put Reaper back together for 
for something special. Um, guys, the show ain't sold out. What, what, what was going to be a funny ha-ha kind of deal and tell you that Dom Perdome and um, uh, Kirk Johnson and all of them were all invited uh, turned into me seeing that, and I thought, now, who would, who would want to sabotage? There's, there's, a th there's thousands of people that would love to see Everybody that's not being invited are probably the ones that are wanting to tell everybody it's sold out. Guys, it's not sold out. Matter of fact, uh, we, I'm going to give these away at my race. It's the weekend before at Illinois. Is that what we're going to do with them? Yeah? No? I don't know. For right now, that's what we're going to do with them. Yeah. We might come up I, with I'm going to give plan. these away. I paid for these out of my pocket. My credit card, they weren't given to me or nothing, but I wanted to prove to you guys it's not sold out. And for the first, and, and I'd like for everybody to like this or to share this. I don't care if you like, share it. Let everybody know that show is not sold out. Not saying it's not gonna sell out, because we still got what three weeks, mm -hmm. and we've never been there. And usually when we go somewhere, we've never been that many street outlaws in one place. Because you're talking about everybody. You're talking about all the street outlaws being there, all the ones that matter and all the ones that count. And there have been no preparation. Me, Chuck, Ryan. Doc, Monza, Dominator. We're all going to be there. Kai Kelly, the Bird Boys. Uh, we're Disco all going to be there. Disco Dean. Disco Dean. <laughs> Disco Dean. <coughs> Disco understood what I was saying the other day because Disco, Disco came and raced his way in two seasons before he got an invite. Yeah, he got his golden be invite. Because, head. here's the funny thing, because he downed no prep kings at one time. He, he, made, some, he made some comments that, that, that were taken wrong, and I told him, I said, Dean, you just got to come race. You got to come race. You got to be in their face, show them that you're willing to do what it takes. And and I'm I'm excited about Dean coming. He's a funny guy. He's a serious racer. Um, some of the people that I didn't mention the other day, like like B Rad, and those guys that have chased this thing all the way through. Uh, Bruder Brothers, you know, uh, Jack French brought his car, converted his car from a drag radio car to a no prep car, and made as many as he could the first season. And then did the whole second season, so that that whole invite thing—that was what I was saying about earn your way, earn, earn earn the right to be invited, guys. But whoever started this rumor, it just went all over me, guys. I promise you, if the show sells out, Discovery will let people know. Pilgrim will let people know. Not saying, and, and I want to stress this because I don't want anybody—I don't want it to sell out next week and everybody go, "Oh, Book and Reaper said, go to the folk, buy your tickets." And you know you got a spot. There's several different ticket packages for sale. There's a lot there's of different. There's something for everybody. There, there, there's, you can just be general admission. There's all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of things that's going to be going on. There's a lot of things. Everybody wants to know what's happening, who's on the invite list. You know what, guys? Why tell everybody everything at one time? Because that's what everybody likes. You guys all want. Look at Street Outlaws. When Street Outlaws wasn't Aaron. Back to back to back to back back seasons. What was the big question everybody wanted to know? When's it coming back on? Well, the the official list that has not been done. There's been people that's been called, asked if they were interested. Could they do it? But the official invite list, all these bullshit lists that other people are putting up. Your lists are way more fun than the official. Oh yeah, list. I mean, hell, so mine's mine's gonna have mine's gonna have uh you know um. Damn, I just I drew a blank. Kurt Johnson, Warren Johnson, Me? Uh, Cruz Petragon, Stacy, um, of course Disco. I mean, he's already gave it up. He got the golden egg. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of pissing me off because I've never got a golden egg. Yeah, he couldn't. He couldn't contain that. And keep it to himself. No, no. He had to. He had to, what he had to do was rub it in everybody's freaking faces. What he had to oh, do. Oh, he got the gold cup, the gold crown, the gold egg. I mean, yeah. man. But just so you guys know, show's not sold out. Go to the folk, buy your tickets. Not saying it's not going to sell out. It would be great if it did because that means we got this thing's growing even bigger than, than, and faster than we all dreamed it would. I think, I know for a fact, we did what we did that first year, busted our ass, traveled, raced. raced. I put Kelly in my car so, so my sponsors could be still represented because I, didn't have, I, couldn't, I couldn't do everything, but... We worked our asses off to get this thing started, and it's not going nowhere. You know, a lot of people talking about, well, the ratings suck. Who said the ratings suck? I have not yet met anybody that didn't say it's badass and they love it. I ask everybody's opinion. 
Those of you that have met me know, I ask you what you think about street outlaws, what you don't like, what you do like about it. Same thing about no prep kings. Nobody has ever come up to me and said, man, dude, that no prep king stuff sucks. Because it don't. And this year, everybody has been told, be who you are. So it's going to be really exciting this year. It's going to be real exciting <laughs> because there's some people that, <coughs> you know, didn't really want to make anybody mad. They wanted to try to be politically correct. Fuck that. We ain't being politically correct. We're going to be who we are. I've told everybody, look at me. If there was anybody going to get kicked off, I would have got kicked off a long time ago because I say what I want when I want. Even when they have to fake the phone calls from Discovery going, Reaper did this, Reaper did that. Reaper's always it's, doing something. I'm going to do something, but I'm not going <laughs> to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you the truth, and, and I'm going to do what I do. My orange car, I'm going to test it. Dominator and I are supposed to go do some testing tomorrow. Uh, then I'm going to take it down, down to Alabama, and Travis and I are going to test it, putting Reaper back together. Brooders are going to come up. We got um, um, the, the, chat, the, the hub dyno. Allison, I'm putting you on blast right now. Allison's going to bring the dyno down Tuesday. We're going to get it set up. So you guys get ready to see some videos of this car on the dyno being tuned. Uh, Ruben Rivera 64 Corvette, the hammerhead car. That's okay. gonna, that, that car's going to be a contender. My brother just did a lot of fab work to it. We've been working on that car for about two months, hard and heavy, making it a safer, faster car. Brooders are tuning it. Um, I'm going to have to talk to Travis before he takes you to the track. Why? Because you gotta, he might have to make a deal with you. you got to go fishing first. I'm going fishing first. And chill out and relax I'm going fishing and have first. a good time. And then test your Travis car. is one of my best friends. And we're going to go spend some time without a fucking race car for a day cool. before we go test the car. And I don't, I don't care what we do. We can go fishing. He likes to shoot guns. He likes to fish. I like to fish with dynamite or a telephone. <laughs> and he told me he ain't fishing like that. So I told him I'm, I'm the worst fisherman <laughs> ever because I can't. I could not catch a fish in a fish bowl of starving fish. I, I guarantee you, they, they would never turn around and I couldn't hook a fish. But I'll go ride in that boat and sip rum and coke and watch Travis fish. Mm -hmm. Travis is one of my closest friends, one of my best friends. Well, you can cook him when he's done. And I, I tell you what, I can cook. I know you can. I can do that. But that's, this was going to be a funny ha-ha kind of deal, but I, I don't see that as being funny. I think that's really chicken shit for anybody to start that rumor and start putting it out there. And I think it's really chicken shit. Some of these other pages that are that are pushing that and the phone calls and all that. Guys, we are coming. There are nine races. Nine races in No Prayer Kings, right? Yes. I will be at every race. I am also going to be doing my series that is going to be actually the week before every one of the No Prep Kings races. Mm -hmm. And in between there, Stacy's calling racetracks right now to see who wants us to to, to come by there and stop in and, and maybe visit some people. So <clears throat> I'm kicking that open to a lot of stuff. What's that? I'm, I'm kicking what, that. What are you open. kicking it open to? Um, you didn't tell me this, so tell me real quick. Oh, okay. Why don't I? What, 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 what are you doing? You prostituted me out enough, Stace. Oh, I will pimp you out in two seconds. Yeah, but not in the right way. <laughs> That's the thing. So what are you talking about? What, what do you mean? What else are you doing? I'm going to racetracks, right? Yes, and and I will, and I will be. And and, 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 and you're stuttering. I'm putting you on the spot. What what are you talking about? And I'll put you at any other kind of event too. I'll pimp you anywhere. What do you mean? Like car shows and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Why not? I don't care. Why not? I don't care. But um, bike night. Ooh, I, I take my bike. I take my pink bike. Mm, oh yeah. Take my pink bike and go ride. Yeah. The ones you can't ride with me on. No, no. Oh, that, all of a sudden that wasn't good, huh? No, no, no. But, guys, I, more than any post I've ever done, even over my own races, I want you guys to share this thing a million times and let everybody know that that's some bullshit rumors that are not true at this point in time. <laughs> that show is wide open. There are tick what? I think I'll I think I'll book you at a bakery. You can do cupcakes and fine t-shirts. Oh yeah. <laughs> there might be more to that cupcake thing than you guys realize at the first show too. Because there was a lot of people 
Are you okay? You're over there bending and stretching and my shoulders locking up or something. Okay, I just you're over here doing this stuff yeah. and distracting me, and I I can't even oh, I'm, I didn't pay attention to what I'm sorry. doing. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're probably doing that shit intentionally, just like you're gonna book me. Don't book me at no. Don't book me at senior citizens hall or something. Oh yeah. Don't book me at a church because I'm not politically correct enough to be at church. You worked out fine the last time we landed at a church. Oh, you could go to the bingo hall and and be the Bing. to the to the nurse, the old folks home and be the bingo caller. You, you do realize I'm also uh, I, I have to get paid to do these. To be able to afford to do this, I bet there's a little because I don't have know. a big, I don't have a big. Nobody gets these big discovery checks on no prep kings like everybody thinks. I bet there's We're, a little lady that rub your bald head for a dollar. Oh well, <laughs> oh, sis rubs my bald head, and she don't charge me a dollar. She does it for free. Uh, so, um, back to the serious note, guys. Yeah, like it. I, I don't care if you like this deal, but I do. I, I want all sixty thousand people that follow me to share this at least. You know, share it to five people that don't follow the page or something. Because that, to me, is the lowest thing you could do. Is turn around and try to sabotage this. And, and, I mean, you don't get the opportunity to meet this many of us in one spot. That's what I think so great about it. You guys get to come watch us race and interact. The big thing on the show was, you know, how do I get to come see it? It's a closed set. You guys can't come see it. If you're not on somebody's list and they've tightened that way up. But... That was the thing, and that was the whole reason that, that, that I wanted this, and, and Ryan and Chuck was because for the first time, everybody, you guys got to come meet more street outlaws and more guys and watch what we do and see it live than has ever been done. And for somebody to say it sold out. Huh? Oh, what time is it? Uh -huh. He evidently won't fall on the live feed. But... He's on vacation. I know. But, uh, guys, it, it, it's bullshit. It's some bullshit rumors. It's not true. As of right now, there are tickets to be had. Go to the folk. Get your tickets. Not saying it won't. I mean, look at Bristol. 32,500 people showed up at Bristol, and the fire marshal shut the gates down. So I'm not saying it, it that there's not a possibility of it, but just go buy your tickets. I mean, we're going to be somewhere that we've never been before, and you guys are going to meet... All the guys are going to be there. All these bullshit rumors, don't believe them. All these bullshit lists that people are making, don't believe them, guys. When, when they release it on Discovery, when they put it out on the page, that's the one you can believe in because it may change 50 times in, in, in the next week. I mean, there's, there's just no telling. People can break cars. People can do this. But I will be at every one of them. I've dedicated, I've told them, I will be at every one of them. I'll be there selling shirts. I'll be there signing autographs. Uh, Jeff Sanders from Tucson has came on to help me with the car. He, 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 he crew chiefed a pro mod car. I've got somebody else that's going to come by today and talk to me about it. Um, and, and the only thing Jeff told me, he said, man, two promises. He said, he said tell me we're going to go try to win this championship. And I said, absolutely, because I'm not leaving the driveway if I don't think I got a shot at it. Dude, he wants to come to it. He goes, I think it'd be really fun to come to one of the filmings on the on the street. And I said, Well, I can take you to one of them, but they're not as fun as everybody thinks. So I'm gonna make him promise to come back after we do. <laughs> you know, that has happened more times than when I was on the list. There's a lot of people that wanted to come. They came one time and said, Oh man, you know what? My wife's getting her toes done. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna paint wash my her grandma's hair toenails. Doing. I can't come tonight. I'm busy. It, it, not as much fun as everybody thinks. <laughs> But there's a reason I'm putting Reaper back together. There's a reason Nick and Rich are going to come down and we're going to tune Ruben's car. We're going to get Reaper lined out because what I said the other day about I'll race anybody anytime in the, in the street, that's a fact. Matter of fact, somebody's called me out on that, that we are going to go live this afternoon because we're going to put, we're going to put shit in the street this afternoon. It's going to be a street race and I'm going to live feed it because somebody ran their mouth the other day. About a month or two ago, and I'm fixing to prove them fucking wrong. So I told guys, be ready for that this afternoon. Who is it? No, you're bit. I, you'll know. Now I'm not telling nobody until we get out there in that street. Cause oh. I, I'm gonna put them on blast. I'm gonna make them look stupid. Oh, okay. I yeah. figured I already knew, but you probably don't know. But I'm not telling nobody except I need to get Mike over here to to, to do the live feed, or you you can do the live feed. Oh, okay. But, That's not what I thought it was. At the end of the day. 
there's one person that mouthed off two months ago about it, two, three months ago about it, and I kept saying, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Told them they're full of shit. Well, that shit's going to happen this afternoon. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and I am going to live feed it. Oh, awesome. Got bail money? I do. All right, as long as I got bail money. I do. Okay, I got to get back to work, guys. Go to the folk, buy your tickets. It's not sold out. Sell it out. That would be awesome. Sell it out. But I promise you that we, we're going to bigger tracks to be able, because as this thing's growing, that's why they're going to the bigger tracks. You guys know I like the little tracks, but we're going to bigger tracks so we don't have to turn people away. But go get your tickets. We're going to figure out how we're going to give these away. I, got, I bought five Saturday and five Friday, and uh, we're going to give them away. Also, the tickets to our race, which is the weekend before in Cordova. We're having an atomic meltdown. Um... Cast a style race, small tire, big tire, 250 to get in, winner take all, depending on the car count. If it gets if it gets really good, then uh, I might add some money to it. <coughs> That's what we're gonna do Friday night and then Saturday night we're gonna do all the big tire races. All you guys that say you wanna be a part of no prep, come, come up there and uh, come to Cordova. Show me, because if I see guys out there racing that's really wanting to do it, not to chase TV, but to be a part of no prep, no problem, guys. Don't think that I won't speak up for you. You can ask Dean Carnes. You can ask Mike Morello. You can ask a lot of guys that are on that deal. When I fought for them, told them, if you guys will get out here and show them that you're badass, you'll be part of the invite. Guess what they are? And you guys can ask any of those guys out there. Be rad, all of them. They came and they did what they needed to do. They did it for free. They busted their ass. And now they're a part of this. So there you go, guys. See you at Cordova, Illinois. Before I see you at Maryland. Have We're a great out. week.